Welcome back to the College of Sports Store. And this week, we are headed to see UNC women's basketball team take on Wake Forest in such a great game, my first game of the season. And it was a special day at the basketball game as it was Ramsey's birthday. So let me stop jabbering and let's go ahead and get into it. I did go to this game by myself, hence why it's not a regular vlog. And I just was not about to be talking to the camera by myself in public. That We haven't gotten there yet, y'all. Maybe we'll get there one day, but we haven't got there yet. So we're kind of going to do a little recap form like we did the gymnastics one. It was a Sunday game, and it also happened to be the same Sunday that the men's basketball team was playing NC State at NC State. So that led to, one, it not being a fever game, which I never get fever points because I somehow have managed to never been able to go to a fever event. And if you don't know much about Carolina Fever, it is this organization that UNC has that helps you like get points and you're more likely to get into um, lottery games like football and men's basketball if you get a lot of points. Because of that NC State game, it led to the crowd not being as full, but given the fact that I left when the NC State game was over, and by the time I got there, it was about 30 minutes till tip off, and the crowd was still very lively. It was a lot of people. Obviously, it wasn't filled to the brim as it probably would have been if we, if the men's team wasn't playing NC State, but there was a lot of like little girls there and little kids there and as well as like a lot of high school teams there. So it was fun. When the game first started, it was pretty close. I was a little nervous as obviously I'm a born bred dead Carolina fan, but I've put a lot of energy into our women's basketball team this season. I think they can go so far in the NCAA tournament this season. And they have been a little game skid as previously before this game, they lost to NC State. They lost to Syracuse, Clemson, Virginia, one of them teams. One, one of them teams, one of them teams that got the orange in it. And I just knew they needed to get back on track. But the first half was back and forth between Carolina and Wake Forest as the game kept going on. But going into halftime, Carolina did have the lead. This game was not just a regular game. It just happened to be on Ramesses, our mascot's birthday. And so they had a lot of other mascots from other teams there. And they played a game of basketball during halftime. And it was so cute. Arguably probably my favorite part of the game. I think they should do that more often as I've been to a lot of sporting events, especially this year, and some of the halftime performances lackluster. Having mascots compete each other in basketball is very fun because as you know, mascots have on full costumes and a lot of mascots have like big paws over their hands. So it's hard to like get hold of the basketball. But coming out in the second half, it was all Carolina. We really turned it up on our defense, on our offensive end, sinking threes. The crowd really got involved as well in the second half, and it was a great day to be a Tar Heel, as every day is to be a Tar Heel. In the second half, one of the girls from Wake Forest did get a title foul, which I felt like she should have got that title foul a little bit earlier, but you know, it is what it is and it does what it do. They did give out Jordans this game, and as every other Carolina sporting event I've been to that I've entered to one Jordans, I unfortunately did not win, which is so sad. So sad, so very sad. But I'm not giving up hope. We still have the spring season left, and I will win a t-shirt, a raffle, a pair of Jordans, a, a dang on flag. Like, I just got to go out with something before I leave this place because I'm feeling like it's happening on purpose. And that's a wrap on this episode, so make sure to come back next time as we head to see UNC's men's basketball team take on Clemson and arguably one of the best games they have this season. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time I post a new video, which are on Mondays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, as well as give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down because it's your thumb, and don't be afraid to join the convo.